Hello and welcome to PCI Tech TV. Geomatica 2013 improves the way you work with large projects and achieves high quality results for your image processing projects in record time. Today, we're going to be looking at productivity tools in OrthoEngine for large project handling in Geomatica 2013. With Geomatica 2013, we have made a concerted effort to streamline your workflow like never before. With data volumes on the rise, the need for efficient tools that can manage large projects has become a necessity. The purpose for implementing these improvements is to drastically speed up your workflows. For this demonstration, we're going to be using a large data set of over 200 historical air photos collected in the 1960s over Saskatchewan, Canada. In this demonstration, I'm going to be working with Geomatica 2013's OrthoEngine, the new productivity tool enhancements that have been provided for it. So these productivity tools essentially make working with very large projects, say over 100 images, a whole lot easier and user friendly. You can save time by working with these tools as they help you find overlap a lot quicker, as well as summarize your overall project and then work with specific images in a much more user friendly manner that has been specifically designed for large projects. So if I open up our ortho engine, I have loaded a project where there is over 200 air photo images in it. We have collected GCPs and tie points for some of these images. And I want to show you how working with these images is a lot easier with these new productivity enhancements. So the first thing we're going to look at is this new drop down menu available in our menu bar. So the view one. So there are two new options in here. We have the raw image summary table and the project overview. So let's take a look at the project overview first. So what we can see here is we can see that we're working or that we're looking at all of the different images or the image centers of all the different images that are in this project. This is a very quick reference that we can go to if we need to get a quick idea as to the distribution of the different images as well as some other summarizing information about them. So for example we can see that if I click on a given image center or near an image center it's going to highlight that image and then also show the footprint for that given image. I can of course select a variety of images in this overview and it will highlight them as well as show the f uh, footprint for those different images. Now we can also display our images in this uh, overview panel a little bit differently so we have the option to display them as image centers or as the full footprint of the images. We can select multiple. We can show, uh, for example, we can show uh, the GCPs for, say, the selected images as well as the tie points for the selected images. Or we can do that for all the images in the project. And we can see our distribution of GCPs and tie points. I can then select a few images, for example, here and then zoom in to an overview of the selected objects. This is giving me a better idea of the distribution of the GCPs and the tie points as well as the number of GCPs and tie points for these selected images. So as mentioned this is a relatively useful tool that makes it very easy to find um, summary information about your different images and to find different images that may have uh, too few GCPs and tie points so that you can work on those and add more as well as find other information about them. So I'm about to show that right now. So what I want to just do is I want to quickly show you that we can also select overlapping images for here. So if I wish to see all the different images that have overlap with the one that's selected, I just simply click on this button here. Now I can see all the different images as well as their GCPs and tie points of that overlap, the one that I had originally selected. And you'll see how useful this can be as I show you the different uh, panels that this information can then be used for. So there's now a lot of panel linking. So for example, this information can then be directly applied into our next one, which I'm about to show you, which is our table summary. So I simply click on this last button to bring up this table summary right here. And as you can see, currently it's only loading the images that were selected. Now I can get all the images of my projects to display in this table by unclicking the Show Selection Only button. Now we have all 266 images displayed in this table, including the selected ones. 
So by clicking this button here, I then refine my uh, table so that it only shows the records that are currently selected. So in this table alone, there's a lot of useful information. So once again, we can see all the different images that are selected. And then we have information about the number of GCPs, tie points, control points for them, as well as the statistical error for, for those different images, such as the overall RMS error, the GCP RMS error, the tie point RMS error, and if we had control points, there would be control point RMS error. Another very useful aspect is we can see the total overlap pairs for each one of these images. So we can see how many images overlap the different ones that are selected. And then of even more value is the number of pairs with tie points. So we can then find all the different images um, that overlap, say, that given record that have tie points associated to that specific image. So for example, if we focus on just this one image here, we can see that it has eight pairs with overlap. So if I were to click on this button here now, the show overlap information, I can then see all the different images that overlap the one that I previously selected. It'll also show me the different image, or for each image that overlaps the selected image, it'll show how many tie points each one of them have. That, or rather, and I should just elaborate, that these tie points, not just the total tie points for that image necessarily, it's the total tie points for that image that are associated to the one that is currently selected. So now I can use this information to help me collect tie points and ensure that the tie points I have collected are accurate. So as you can see, I'm sure you can already tell that there's a lot of value for when working with large projects with these new panels. So I'm going to show you a neat new functionality that we have with tie point collection. So for example, I have this image here that I'm interested in working with. So the one that we had selected, the one that's currently selected down here in the project overview panel. So I'm going to open up that image, an overview of that image. I'm then going to open up an overview of an image that has a few tie points collected and that are associated with it. So I can once again double click on that record here and that will open it up. So I'm just going to clean up my desktop a little bit by minimizing some of these panels. Bring up Ortho Engine. And I can open up my manual tie point collection panel. So what we're seeing here in this table there's all the tie points that have been collected for my working image. So for example, if I were to click on one of the tie points, we can see it'll automatically zoom to that tie point. Now these are all the different images that have, um, or sorry, these are all the different tie points for this image, not just the tie points uh, that are um, connected between these two images. So actually for now it may make more sense to close this one. So if I sort through the different images, the first thing, or the different tie points rather, the first thing that we can notice is that we see in this reference image tie point table here, we can see all the different images that use that tie point. But then we can also see the other images that do not currently use that tie point, but where it may be appropriate. So for example, if I open up one of the images that does currently use that tie point, and I select it and then click quick open, we can see that it zooms right away to that tie point. Now, what would happen if I were to open up one of these candidate images? So I'm going to select that candidate image, click Quick Open Image, and we can see that it opens very close to that given tie point. So if I wanted to, I could then do some minor adjustments to, say, the cursor. So as you can see, it's a little bit off. So I can just adjust that cursor here, for example. And then I could use this new point and collect this point or use this point rather um, as a part of this as a part of the tie point or add this image to this tie point. So that's just a very handy tool when collecting tie points for large projects. And I want to show some other new functionality in Ortho Engine that makes working with large projects but not even just large projects. Actually in this case it's more just any gener any general projects working within Ortho Engine a lot easier. So it's has to do with uh, GCP collection and then just capability of selecting GCPs between your image and your reference image. 
So for example, if I go to GCP collection here, click on the manual GCP collection option. So the normal GCP collection panel opens, as well as we have all the different images here. I can open up a given image in this panel, and then I have the option to display all the different images with overlap. So of course at this point, I can then go down and I can select different specific GCPs. And as you can see, it'll automatically zoom to those GCPs as it has done before. However, something new now that we have is the ability to select a specific GCP and have it now show up on the table. So if I select this GCP, it'll now automatically identify it on the table. Once again, a very useful bit of information and functionality, which makes working with GCP collection a whole lot easier. So of course we can, as before, we can select different images from the panel, or if we wish to, we can select now graphically and it shows up in the table. So these are just some new enhancements that oftentimes have been um, recommended to us by our customers and it shows that we, you know, we listen to our customers and it's important to us that we deliver a product that's as, use, as easy to use and user friendly as possible and that will essentially save time and ultimately money for customers, in this case working with large projects. So this pretty much concludes the demonstration here for the Ortho Engine productivity enhancements. Thank mm -hmm. you.